Hundreds came to pay tribute to the man known as the ultimate bridge builder. Mourners included U.S. Ambassador David Friedman and former Jerusalem mayor Nir Barkat. He was a man who understood the true hardships and challenges that exist for us and the distress in the state of Israel and how to open the hearts of millions of donors around the world. Rabbi Eckstein started the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews in 1983. Since then, it's raised more than one and a half billion dollars to help Jews in Israel, the former Soviet Union, Latin America, and more than 58 other countries. I think from the very beginning, I remember when my brother went out to Chicago for the march in Skokie. Is the first start, the start of anti-Semitism in a different way in America. And the partners he found were the evangelical Christians. Eckstein's daughter, Yael, carries on the family legacy as the global executive vice president. There's one specific gift, Abba, which is the greatest gift I've received from you. It's the commitment to hold family over everything else in the world. Eckstein's younger brother, Beryl, told CBN News that the more he saw his brother's work, the more he understood and loved it. Wherever you feel went, there was a bond, especially with Pat Robertson, who was such an influence on Yechiel's life, and I think Yechiel was on his. That love, that shared mission, was something that I and my whole family cherish. Eckstein pursued three goals, build bridges between Christians and Jews, deepen Christian understanding of the Jewish roots of their faith, and develop a practical way to help the Jewish people and Israel. Rabbi Eckstein is survived by his wife, Joel, three daughters, and eight grandchildren. The memory I always have of my brother is him praying, and whenever I was weak, he was always there to hold my hands. John Wagi, CBN News, Jerusalem.